For this look, we're going to start off with the Rimmel Magnifies Color Edition palette. We're starting off with this bright, bold blue shadow. I'm using my e.l.f. fluffy blender brush. And I'm starting in the crease, the outer crease and just working my way up. This particular shadow quad, I will tell you, is not the easiest to work with. But I paid for it and I used it. And so I'm gonna create a few looks out of it. And then I'll probably give it to one of my daughters to play around with. So it takes a little bit of packing in there to get the brightness. Taking it all the way into the inner portion of the crease. Then I'm bringing the same color down into the inner portion of the lid. Now, these type of shadows, the reason I kept this is because one, I used it. Two, this is really a good shadow palette for beginners who are on a budget. Sometimes you have to learn to work with things that are not that um, good in quality and still just be patient and creative and be able to um, work with it. Okay, so I'm going to stop with this and then I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and I'm going to go into this deep dark blue and this particular look I feel is for warm weather months but evenings and nighttime date nights and get togethers and things like that. So I'm going into my outer corner. And another thing about this look, it makes me think about a peacock. I looked at this once I finished this eye and I was like, wow, these are like, um, you know, similar shades that you would see in the peacock. So, and I love peacocks. I'm just like when you add this midnight blue, it kind of has like a glowing effect to this color, to this look. go into another palette and this is a wet and wild palette let's see okay so 
This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. And for this one, I'm gonna be using this nice pretty green right there. And that's gonna go in on my lower lash line. And here we go. I'm gonna use this brush that was in the other palette. And I want it to be kind of messy underneath the eye, just a little. If we have to clean some of it up, like if it, you know, we have too much fallout, which that's another thing about these affordable palettes. There's really not a lot of fallout. They're just a little difficult to blend. So that happens. You kind of sometimes get what you pay for. But the times that you get more, when paying less, it's very exciting, it's a good feeling. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna continue using this palette, the Wet n Wild palette, and what I wanna do is go into my inner corner with some glitter, <clears throat> with a highlight shade. So I'm gonna use this green shimmer right here, and I'm gonna take that into my inner corner, Like I said, and down into the lower lash line. I hope you all can see this. I'm not blocking. You take some glitter and go into the corner of my upper lid or on my eyelid. <laughs> there is no lower lid. And then let's see, I'm going to go a little bit more in there just to make it even with the other eye. Okay. A little bit more in that inner corner. I like it nice and bright. I like to be able to see all those shimmers. And make sure that you all can see all those shimmers. Okay, so now what I want to do for more for a more full effect is I want to take that shimmer a little further than I normally do. All the way up here. Because I feel like this look needs it. Because you know if you're out on a date with your husband, and let's just say you go to a place that has low lights or low lights plus candles when that candle is flickering and you have glitter on your eyes or you have highlight that candle light catches or the glitter catches that candle light or vice versa however you need to put it it's so beautiful it's just gorgeous so that's what i want this is the look i'm trying to create a romantic evening but warm weather look and i'm going to just add a little more. 
into the upper eye area. And let's see, I feel like, I feel like I'm missing just a little bit of color on this side. So I'm gonna add a little more. There's still some more on this brush because we want to match. And of course on this side, my um, highlight is a little fuller. Okay, so there is that. I think we did pretty good. I think that's close enough. Good. I'm going to use, and I've already pulled out the little spoolie, I'm going to be using this Alme Multi Benefit Mascara in the color black. And just in my lower lash line. That's all, that's the only place I'm adding this mascara to. I have on faulties, but I think that they're good enough on their own. And I really don't like adding mascara to my falsies. I don't clean them, and so I end up throwing them away, um, you know, before I actually really need to. So. I just leave them on, I put them on, and leave them be. Just adding a little more over here. Okay. So now, I started to do a nude lip with this look, but I started thinking, would I wear a nude if I, if I were out on a date with my husband? And I thought about it because I'm extra, I would not have worn a nude. I would have worn something that would kind of blend in with this eyeshadow. And so I'm going to use this Milani lipstick in the color Sangria, and it's number 21. So, Sangria. And let's do this. Hmm, I forgot this uh, sangria was on that. That's pretty. Mm, perfect for spring, perfect for summer. You know what? I have to question this because I was shopping my stash with this lipstick. Yeah, it's a matte. I was gonna say it could just be old, <laughs> but I believe it was a matte. I'm gonna go with that. I'll just say this is kind of old. I'm gonna have to get me another one because I can't put this on and have this lipstick tugging at my lips like it is. sticky too so uh, old getting rid of this get me another sangria lipstick but the color is working so I like it let me add a little bit more of my contour slash bronzer because that's what I do with this this is what and wow contour and call me maple and so I'm going to just Add a little more in my cheek area. A little on my nose. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. That'll work. Okay, 
Hopefully I didn't overdo it on the nose. We'll see. All right, now for some highlight. Kind of did it a little backwards today, just a little bit. This is the final look. I hope you like it. I love it. And I just appreciate you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you enjoy it, then please give it a like. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by. I do hope that you consider subscribing. And if you do, do not forget to click that bell. That bell allows you to receive all notifications on my future uploads. So. You all take care, have a blessed day, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all on the next video. God willing, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>